Hey guys, it's Beth, and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Renegade Platinum Nuzlocke. Uh, so, in between episodes I remembered, oh hey, that audio problem probably won't matter that much if I just mute the audio and then just add in Pokemon soundtrack in the background. So, that's what we're going to do for a bit, uh, since, you know... The game has decided to, when, well, my computer has decided to be incredibly irritating. So, uh, hopefully that is alright. It will probably sound a bit better like this than how it would have otherwise. Yeah, this is just like. Sorry. Just sorry. Uh, okay, so I need to push this this way. Did they change this gym? Like, did they actually, like, edit how the gym is laid out in this ROM hack? They couldn't have. I don't remember it being like this, though. Though I guess, to be fair, the last one that I actually played of this was probably the Diamond and Pearl version in, well... Uh, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, so... Hmm. Okay. It's going to walk around you. Okay, so I can't walk in that direction. That's fine. I'm going to do my best to... To avoid unnecessary battles. Okay, so right there, how do I get to... Oh. What? Okay, so clearly that's how I'm supposed to go that way. Um, hmm. Oh. I feel like that's a bit unnecessarily, like complex for no specific reason. Like, I couldn't even tell I could move behind one of those areas. Alright, I'm just gonna move this out of the way. Bye bye Alright, it's time to fight Maylene. Hello, I'm pleased to meet ya. I'm Maylene, and I'm the gym leader. Don't really know what it means to be strong or how I got to be the gym leader, but I will do the best that I can as the gym leader. I take battling very seriously whenever you're ready. Alright. I guess I'm ready. Starting off with Medicam, um... I don't know if we outspeed. Let's hope. Okay. Fake out. Uh, so I don't specifically know. Okay, so we do outspeed. Togekiss is pretty fast. Uh, I'm going to heal myself up to be up to full in case. Oh, well, we crit, so it doesn't really matter. I was a bit worried about a thunder punch or an ice punch, but looks like we got out of that scot free. Next up is Toxicroak. Now. Hold on, let me quickly look at my Pokemon. I think for this example, we should actually go into Dumplin' really quickly. Because, um... While Togekiss would be able to take it on, I believe, having a poison- having a Fairy-type out against a Poison-type is just a bad idea. So I might as well just go out to the Psychic-type, which I know will one-shot. Perfect. Crit. Easy. Effective. Beautiful. Perfect. Next up is Machamp. Now, I feel like going into Chirp for this one is probably our best bet. Having a double resistance to fighting. This could no Stone Edge, but we do, we do outspeed as far as my knowledge goes. So I think we'll be perfectly fine. Okay, so it is Guts. It is not, um, what's it called? Uh, no Guard. 
so it wouldn't it has a low chance of hitting stone edge anyway so we're just going to you know take it out and hope for the best all right what's up next all right lucario is the next thing out now steel type is problematic but I think the best strategy here, we're going to go into Dumplin' once again, as they are probably our best answer for this. Um, and we're going to go for High Jump Kick. Flash Cannon shouldn't do much to us. But with this, in addition to like recoil knockback damage, yeah, if we didn't hit, we would have died. So I'm glad that uh, Dumplin' was able to live. Um, that appears to be a Focus Sash. Now, most likely what will happen here is they're going to heal. So I'm going to use this turn to hit Psycho Cut and see how much it does. Okay. Did half. Now, they're most likely going to go for Flash Cannon again. Um, and I feel like Chime right now is probably our best bet. So, let's send in Chime and we'll heal up Dumplin', or we might just be able to, like, take it out. Because Flash Cannon should do nothing to Chime. I am a bit worried about sending in our Garchomp, potentially, because this thing could have Ice Punch. Okay, so Moo Moo Milk up Dumplin'. Now Dumplin's back to max. Okay, so this has Dark Pulse, which means that Chime is dead, so that's fine, I guess. But I guess... Hmm, now I'm concerned about how much Dark Pulse is going to do to Dumplin', but it seems they're still just using Flash Cannon, so I guess because I'm a fighting type, I don't want to go for a Dark type move, but unless Flash Cannon crits, we're fine, and the Lucario is gone, and this is what I was honestly most afraid of, um, and honestly... Of all the Pokemon on our team, I was the most okay with losing Chime. So, I, I don't feel too... terrible. Okay, Infernape is a problem. <sighs> or is it? Infernape is not a problem because we have Lava Girl. I was like, Infernape's a problem because it can learn Grass Knot and it will probably use that if we send out Felt. But, uh... With Lava Girl being 10 levels above it, uh, we're just going to be able to hit Earthquake and it's going to be gone. And just like that, it's gone. Okay, now we have Gallade. Um, hmm. I'm gonna say Chirp is our best option. This isn't the end. Yep, we'll see about that. Honestly, I feel pretty content with that fight overall. Yep, okay. So we, we've beaten our record, only one Pokemon lost in this gym like, total, which is better than any other gym we've done. It still sucks that we lost Rotom, but... Frankly, of all the things to lose there, they, they were the most inconsequential. Okay, you win. That was a tough loss. I learned a lot from it. Please accept this gym badge. Um, I should explain about that official Pokemon League gym badge. With it, you can use a hidden move, fly outside of the battle. Oh, and please take this as well. I believe this is Brick Break. 
Drain Punch. Ooh, that TM60 contains a move Drain Punch. It inflicts damage and robs the target's HP. I am teaching that to Medicam right now. Because, uh... As we know, I do not trust, um... I, I cannot trust, uh... High Jump Kick at all. So... Yeah, like, I'm sorry. Wait, that is 90 accuracy now. That's way better. You know what? I'll get rid of Zen Headbutt, sure. I guess that's gonna be better. That way we have one move that's essentially just like a nuke. In case of emergency, hit high jump kick. I think that's fair. Um, I will say, it does kind of suck losing Chime before we go into the next gym, which is Water type. Um, so yeah, I mean, I guess we just put our uh, Breloom on the team again. I guess they're the best option. Hey, uh, Beth, listen, I need your help. Some Team Galactic goons grabbed my Pokedex and won't give it back. I sure could use your help. I'll be waiting from the I'll be waiting in front of the warehouses. Uh please come help. Yeah, no problem. I got you. Um, yeah, I'll probably just put Breloom in with a What's it called? Experience share. Okay. Sorry, Chime, you did your best, and, um... To be honest... <laughs> that was the best case scenario for us in that fight. Not gonna lie, it was the best we could do. So once again, we do now have two fighting types on our team, but I'm not... I'm not that concerned with it. I really don't have, like, the luxury to care about that right now. It's like, that is still the best thing we can do, because, uh... Like, we don't have another shiny stone. We can't get, like, Roselia. Uh, to evolve into a Roserade, so... Yeah, it kinda, kinda just stinks, huh? Okay. So, you know what, let's, um... Hmm. What is another good Pokémon to... L I guess, um... Chirp has gotten way too much experience. So I guess we'll lead with... I guess let's go for... Let's go for Felt, actually. Let's give you uh, the... What's it called? The Amulet Coin. Yeah. And, uh... Hmm. Let's give Roxy the Lucky Egg. Odd Incense boosts Psychic moves. Um, um hmm. I guess we go for... Let's just put the Twisted Spoon on you. Because we, you do have extra sensory, and let's put. Uh, actually, no, no. Let's give you the odd incense, and we'll give you the scope lens. Perfect. Uh, let's also check what uh, the department store has. So they might have some more like TMs and stuff. Also, I did see that Togekiss was able to learn Drain Punch, which is just. I'm not going to question that. I'm sure that was entirely intentional. Let's 
by 50 Ultra Balls. Let's buy some Hyper Potions. Buy 20 of those. Um, ooh, full heals. I'm going to need a whole bunch of those. So let's just grab a whole bunch of those while we can. That's all you have to say? Alright. Sure. I mean, honestly, the only Poke Draft that I like is the one that you're seeing on screen. It gives you a really important message. Uh, and you should listen to it. What you got? Oh! Huh. Well, it looks like we can get a Roserade. Interesting. What do you have? All of the other stones. Interesting. Well... I mean, maybe- I guess I'll go for a Roserade instead of a uh, Breloom, just for more type coverage. No TMs? Really? Guess not. Darn. Oh, hey. Oh, TMs. Nice, thank you. What's that the TM for? Oh! Earthquake! I will take the TM for Earthquake. That was 26, right? Uh, Felt doesn't need it. They have Earth Power, so I guess, I guess we'll, uh... Time to go pick up Roserade, I mean, Roselia, and of all of them. I mean, I guess we're putting them on the team then. Like, even though I personally prefer, uh, Breloom in general, just because I like, I like Mushroom, Mushroom are cool. Um, just type coverage is better. Like, I'm sorry. And, like, we already have one of the best fighting types we can get, frankly. So, yeah, hold on. I need to take that item off. The only thing that I really worry about... You are level 26. Alright, well... That's a problem. But, uh, that is a problem that can be fixed. It's not the end of the world. Start by just teaching you moves. Just to absolutely boost you to being useful. Okay, so, just get rid of Magical Leaf. But you have Dazzling Gleam and Sludge, so I'm pretty sure you're fine in that regard, because I don't think we have any, like, Poison-type moves that we can teach you. Sure don't. Okay. Um, let's use the shiny stone on you real quick. And so, let's think. Hmm. Oh, let's hope that you didn't have Technician, because if you had Technician, it probably would have been better to keep Magical Leaf. And I haven't saved, so that would really suck if I did that. You had Technician. Well, unfortunately, none of your moves are really affected by that other than um, Magical Leaf would have been. Well... What's the difference between... 
I, I think is it like what 1.5 times on technician so geez yeah man that was a mistake is there a move relearner in this Pastoria City for free. So where is Pastoria? Let, let me... I'm going to, you know, like... Let, let's do this in a way that makes sense. That's Pastoria. Okay, so it we're going there, so it won't be a problem. It's just not an issue at all. Well, look at that. Should I actually lead with GA and then swap that no I'm just gonna give them the experience share let's be honest but let's do the smart thing and just like lead with the right Pokemon let's not be dumb here all right well this is where I'm going to end it off for today's episode, so thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye-bye!